Hello, this is Brother Cromar from the Math Department at BYU-Idaho, and these lessons are Lesson 7, dealing with probability calculations involving a mean response. And here's the outline for these videos. First of all, what's in the red box, this is really Lesson 5, Review, Finding Area or Probability Within Normal Distributions. And then this next item here is Review Mean Standard Deviation and Shape of a Distribution of Sample Means, and the pair population is normally distributed. This here is Lesson 6. And then we'll do new material. We're finding area or probability within a distribution of sample means when the population is norm data is normally distributed, or the population is normally distributed. Then we'll do the same thing, uh, but now we'll be doing the mean standard deviation shape of the distribution of sample means when the pair of population is not normally distributed, and then wrap it up with finding the area or probability within a distribution of sample means when the population data is not normally distributed. Okay, so first of all, here is the, uh, going back to lesson five, um, if we had this problem, the length of a human pregnancy from conception to birth is normally distributed with a mean of 266 days and a standard deviation of 16 days. What is the probability of a pregnancy that lasts less than 260 days? So the first step is that we convert the value of 260 into a z-score. So to do that, we take the 260, the value 260, minus the mean, which is 266, and divide it by the standard deviation, which is 16. If we solve for that, we get a z-score of negative 0.375. Then we take that negative 0.375, put it into the applet down below here, and then shade to the left because we're looking for the probability of being less than 260, shade to the left, press enter, and we get the area, which is 0.3538. That represents, the 0.3538 represents the probability of getting a uh, pregnancy that lasts less than 260 days, okay? So the next thing is, let's go back to review lesson six, review the mean standard deviation shape of a distribution of sample means when the parent population is normally distributed. So for instance, with the length of human pregnancies from conception to birth, going back to the previous problem, it's normally distributed with a mean of 266 days and a standard deviation of 16 days. So suppose a random sample of 30 pregnancies was measured what is the mean, standard deviation, and shape of the distribution of sample mean pregnancies based on a sample of 30? So first of all, the mean of the means, that's what this symbol represents. The mean of all sample means equals the population mean, which in this case is equal to 266. Okay? But then the standard deviation of the, dis of the distribution of sample means is equal to the, the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. In this case, standard deviation, the population standard deviation is 16, divided by the square root of our sample size, our sample size is 30, and when we solve for this, we get a standard deviation of 2.92. The shape of this distribution is normal, or bell-shaped, because the original distribution of the parent population is normal, so the distribution of sample means will also be normal. You could argue, since our sample size is 30, that it is large enough, but ultimately, since our parent population is normally distributed, then the distribution of sample means is also normally distributed. Okay, so now finding the area of probability within a distribution of sample means when the population data is normally distributed. So now we're going to take these first two bits of information, combine it with this information right here. Okay, so now here is, let me just pop this up here, I'll make it look like this here. Um, the length of human pregnancies from conception to birth is normally distributed with a mean of 266 days and a standard deviation of 16 days. What is the probability that a random sample of 30 pregnancies have a mean pregnancy period less than 260 days? So what we do is, is that we convert um, this z-score. Now notice this z-score has changed a little bit. What we saw earlier, let me get out of this for just a sec. If you go back to the previous problem where it asked for the probability of a pregnancy lasting less than 260, 260 days, the z-score is 260 minus 266 divided by 16. But if we're going to go now, the, the question is now asking for what is the probability that a random sample of 30 pregnancies have a mean pregnancy period less than 260, 260 days? We almost have the same thing, but now we divide it by uh, divide the z-score in the denominator. It's not just 16, but 16 divided by the square root of our sample size because that is our standard deviation of the distribution of sample means. It's the, the population standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size. So we now have to put that into our denominator, and now we get a new z-score of negative 2.050. If we were to take this, I'll, I'll go through an example of this. If we 
put this into our applet, and we put in negative, negative 2.050, press enter, and then we, we're shading to the left still, so we get rid of the shaded area to the right, we get a probability of 2%. So what that means is, is that the probability of getting a random sample of 30 pregnancies with a mean of less than 260 days is about 2%. Okay. So now let's go through um, another problem here where the district, so this is dealing with the problem, what is the mean, the standard deviation, the shape of a, of a uh, distribution of sample means, where if we have a mean heart rate of 80 and a standard deviation of 16 and a half days, suppose we take a random sample of 10 students, what is the mean, standard deviation, and shape of the distribution of sample mean heart rates for a typical college student based on a sample of 10 students? So the mean of the means, the mean of all sample means, is equal to the population mean, which is 80 beats per minute. The standard deviation of the sample means, or the distribution of sample means, is, is the population standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size. In this case, it's 16.5 is our population standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size, which is 10. So we get a uh, standard deviation of the, of the sample means being 5.22. The shape is normally distributed because the original distribution is normal, even though we only had a sample size of 10. But ultimately what Trump said is, is that our original distribution or population is normal. Okay? So now what we can do is that we can take this and we can say, okay, so the heart rate for a typical college student is, is normally distributed with the mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 16 and a half. What's the probability that a random sample of 10 college students has a mean heart rate greater than 90 beats per minute? So first of all, we convert the value of x bar using the standard normal variable z. So we basically find the z score. So you can stop the recording if you want to do these two steps, getting the z score and finding the area, not just not stop the recording, but stop the video. You can go through these two steps on your own. Okay, so now how to get this is that to get the z-score, we're trying to get the z-score for 90 beats per minute. So what we do is, is that we take 90 minus the population mean, which is 80, divided by, this, by, by our standard deviation over the square root of our sample size, the population standard deviation divided by the square root of our sample size. So this is the standard deviation of the distribution of sample means. That's in our denominator. So then when we solve for this, we get a z-score of 1.917. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our applet again. So we're looking for um, greater than. So we type in 1.97 here, 1.917, excuse me. And then instead of shading to the right, we shade to the left, and I get a probability of 0 0.0276. So the prob so and that's what I have here. So the probability that a random sample of 10 collisions has a mean heart rate greater than 90 beats per minute is just under 3%. Okay. And so I will stop the recording and I'll continue with the remaining remainder part of Lesson 7.